This has been a particularly tough year for those who have lost their jobs and many have found ways to make ends meet thanks to a string of pop up markets across the city. Duke Carter has more from Courtyard Brewery where food service industry workers are finding a lifeline. Outside in the Lower Garden District at Courtyard Brewery, you'll see a lot of foot traffic. These are cooked sauces. These are fermented sauces. People are selling sauces, mask and apparel at this pop up market. The common theme, most of the vendors are people who worked in the food service industry. After COVID hit, um, obviously, like most service industry people, I was out of work. I grow all the peppers in my backyard in Algiers Point. Michelle Moats is one of the nearly dozen vendors who sells product at the pop up market. She says after losing her job, this is her way to help and try and make ends meet. I feel like Cinderella at the, at the ball. <laughs> no, I mean, because it's an opportunity. It's a great opportunity. Scott is providing this fantastic space for people. Jillian is providing encouragement. Um, and everybody is really, very, I hate to use the word because it's so overused, but everybody's really passionate about what they're doing. Do you guys want to try anything else? The pop-up market was the brainchild of Julian Duran and Scott Wood, the owner of Courtyard Brewery. Duran, who makes ice cream, was looking for another avenue after she didn't have work at the height of the pandemic. And she's glad to see other food service workers now becoming their own boss. It's amazing that Scott just like allows people to pop up here whenever they can and whenever he has room for them and he doesn't charge them a fee, which is a big deal in the city. The pop up market started late in the summer with two vendors and over time, more people wanted to join. Well, Scott Wood wanted to provide a safe space where people could make ends meet. We also just are trying to help because we have the space and we have some of the notoriety and, and voice in the community. And I think it's prudent upon us to use that for the benefit of others when we can. Even customers are pleased to see industry workers pivot and make a living for themselves. I like the idea of like supporting these people who are still out here making things. To survive and maybe eventually thrive in the pandemic. Reporting Duke Carter, Eyewitness News. There have been holiday markets at other breweries as well, like Zoni Mash and Dixie, as well as along the Bayou and out at City Park.